Hey guys, my name is Cynthia and welcome to my channel, Graciously Growing. If this is your first time viewing this channel, it is about two things that I love and that is growing plants and growing in the Word of God. So it's been about two weeks since my last video and that's because I took a much needed vacation. I went home to South Carolina to visit my mom and other family members and I had a great time. And you know, while I was there, I did do some plant shopping and I did bring back three plants. Um, but this video is not about that. That should be the next video. But before that video, um, when I came home, there were, well, actually before I left, these plants needed to be repotted. And so I said, well, I'm going to do this repot video first um, because they really need to be repotted. And then the next video will be me showing you the three plants that I purchased in South Carolina. So uh, let's get started with the repotting. I hope you enjoy. So like I said, I have four plants here that I will be repotting. The first plant is this Sissus Discolor. It is a vine. Um, it is quite beautiful and it needs to be repotted. Um, I also need to repot this Creeping Inch Vine. Um, it is, I just love this plant. It's such a fast grower and so it needs to be repotted. I also need to repot my variegated pepperonia. And lastly, I need to repot my syngonium. So, uh, I already have the pots that I'm going to be using for the pepperonia and the syngonium. I'm going to be uh, using these as cover pots. I got these from the dollar store and I got a bunch of them and um, I really um, have been enjoying using these um, and I'm going to use this. I'm going to actually put the plant in this particular um, nursery pot and then place it in here uh, because this is more aesthetically pleasing obviously. I'm going to do the same thing for the syngonium. So the pepperonia and syngonium are going these pots. For the vines, I have two other pots that I'll be using. I got these pots from Rite Aid. If you have a Rite Aid near you, I've noticed that every year, and I missed it this time because once um, I went there, you know, it was pretty much not too much left. Um, I asked the gentleman when did the sale start and he said like in July, I like the beginning of July. And um, it's, but I noticed every year they uh, discount all of their seasonal items and they consider pot seasonal. I guess, you know, spring, summer, and they were 70% off. And so I got two pots. Now they were an ugly brown color, but if you watch my videos, you know what I did. I spray painted them. I had just enough spray paint left uh, to paint uh, to spray paint these two. And then of course, inside is the nursery pot um, that I will be using. So that is, oh, and I also have my soil here. Now my soil is um, uh, just regular, soil that I um, purchased from my nursery, my local nursery, um, mixed with perlite. So I believe, and also, I, well, one more thing, I have my, you know, scissors for any pruning that needs to be done. So let's get started. So like I said, I want to start with this vine. It's called a Sissus Discolor. I will show you oh look at those roots hanging out the bottom of that pot so it is definitely in a need of a repot and this vine will grow down or grow up i just tested it by putting on this um i don't even know where this comes from but i had this little um i don't know what you would call this uh, but a little steak yeah, steak, and I wanted to see if it would crawl up that, and it surely did. So I am going to first, um, 
let's see, which part did I say that was going in? I said, yeah, this one. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of dirt in the bottom first and foremost. I need to uh, purchase a, a scoop. I actually had one, um, but I don't know where it is. And so I'm just going to use this. Obviously I will not be putting it back in my kitchen. So it will forever be a tool for the plants. But that is what I'm using right now to uh, scoop the dirt in. So I like to put a little bit on the bottom. I think I should put a little bit more before I put the plant in. Okay, I think that is enough on the bottom. And then we're gonna try to see if I can gently uh, get uh, this plant out without ripping these roots. I really should not have allowed this plant um, to get this so far gone. Also, if you, I forgot to mention this green placemat that I have, I got from Amazon. It is a mat um, that you can purchase. So when you um, are doing repotting or other things with your plants that you're not making a mess on your table. So, so far so good, I do like this. And it's pretty big. All right, so let's see if I can get this out. Oh, okay. That wasn't hard at all. So here it is. You can see the roots. Let's see. See the roots? They look pretty nice and healthy here. So I'm I, I don't know if this is right, but this is what I usually do. I usually kind of um, loosen up the roots a little bit by squeezing, getting all the uh, excess soil. Uh, out before putting it in its new pot so let's see if this works so yeah yeah I've got to be careful because I do not want to um, I obviously don't want to break any of the stems for this plant so that looks pretty good. So now I'm going to add uh, the dirt around the sides. And the way that I have this plant on my shelf, I want all of the vines to go in the front because this is how I showcase it. And so I'm not trying, I'm trying to get the vines to go, all of them to go that way. So pretty much the back is, you know, there's nothing really there, but that's the way I want it to grow. And um, so let's see. I can get, get the dirt. You know, this is obviously not the proper tool, but to be honest with you, this is, this is not... This is not bad um, to use if, you know, you don't have a scoop. Um, if you're wondering how much perlite I use um, mixed in the soil, I'm not really good at that. I did a lot of research and, you know, every, if you, if you Google, the, what's the ratio between soil and perlite? Everybody has something to say different. So what I did was, I pretty much used, um, I filled up a nursery pot about this size with the soil, and then I dumped it in this container, and then I filled up uh, half of this with perlite. And that's what I did for each one to have kind of like an even mixture. Um, to see if my plants like it. So I think the one thing about this vine, it loves to wrap around everything. It is it is definitely a vine. 
um, and I'm I'm trying to see if I can uh, get it without you know breaking it. So let's see, let's see if I can do this. And it has these little like hair uh tentacles they look like they're very fine and and it is like wrapping around everything so this will go into this particular pot so that is the first plant and let's go to the next so the next plant that i will be repotting is my creeping inch vine See if I can get it out and show you its roots here. So this one is not as bad, but it is beginning to grow roots out of the nursery pot opening. And so I am going to go ahead and repot this one as well. As you can see, Here's the size of this one, and so this should keep it happy for quite a while. And so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first one. I'm going to put some dirt in the bottom first. And while I was in South Carolina, I have to tell you, and I I suspected this, that um, they would have such a better collection of plants. Now, I'm from a small town, um, and so they didn't, they only had one um true nursery there, and um, I did go and their plants were okay but it was pretty much everything that i could find here except for one plant that i really wanted to bring home but like i said i already purchased three i had to carry them on the plane and i'm going to talk about that um that adventure when i show you the plants that i brought back um but the plants that i purchased they were from uh lowe's um and they had such a better collection than what is here in Washington State where I'm from. So this one was easy to get out as well. Um, this plant is such a fast grower and I'm just massaging the roots a little bit and getting all of the ac excess dirt out like I did the first one. Um, I love this plant. I really, really love this plant. My friend gave it to me and um it's just wonderful i like the coloring you see like the purple the purple backing of a, it, it's just a very beautiful plant this looks like this is broken yeah i don't know it looks like it's been broken for a while one thing i'll say about this plant is it is very uh delicate and fragile so you have to be really careful I am going to do a um, video on propagations that I have, a few couple of propagations that I have going on right now. And one of the one of the plants that I am currently propagating is this plant. And I have to say it has been so easy um, and fast growing even with propagating. Um, so I, that will be in a video to come as well. So this is how it's looking and now I'm going to add the uh, remainder soil um, all around the perimeter of the plant and I'm trying my best not to make a mess. I am, I make such a mess when I repot so I'm trying not to do that this time. But yeah, like I was saying, I there was actually one other plant that I did not get um, from South Carolina. I wanted my, I wanted to bring that home so bad, but 
but when you see these plants, they're not starter plants. They're, they're not big, but they are big when you think about having to be able to carry it on a plane. And I did, I definitely didn't want to put it, um, um, check it in, obviously, because I figured they would be dead upon arrival. So I had to um, rethink how I wanted to bring it. So, oh, I almost dropped it. I told you I make a mess every time. Um, so what I did was my carry-on that I had, I took everything out of my carry-on and put it in the suitcase that I um, checked in and then used my carry-on uh, to uh, bring my plants home. And um, they got a little beat up. I, I lost maybe a leaf, a leaf on two of them, but it was, you know, they, they, it's, it's pretty good. It's, it's healthy and happy. Okay. So, once I water this, I always hit the pot to make sure that all of the soil, substrate, or whatever you want to call it, is um, settling. And then, so this is how this one's looking. And of course, like I said, I'm going to put it back. Just being real careful not to break these vines. Okay. All right. Let me see. And this is how this one's looking. And it's really going to, I just feel like it's really going to go crazy now because this plant, like I said, this is a very fast growing plant and easy to um, care for. Um, as far as watering goes, um, I think I water it maybe every week, usually. Okay. So there we go. So two down and two to go. So the next plant I want to repot is this Pepperonia. And you, look at that. This is my variegated Pepperonia. It's called a Pepperonia Marble. And I don't remember where I got this from. I want to say, hmm, I want to say I got this from Lowe's. But um, look at it. Isn't it gorgeous? So this will be the next one. And I must say that um, it has not been a problem at all thus far getting these plants out of their nursery pot um, without destroying the roots. And this one has also been a success. So here we go. You know what? I don't think I like the soil this was in. I've never, um, I never, what do you call it? Repotted this plant yet. Um, so this is the soil that it came with. And I, I'm not to say I'm not very um, impressed. So, but the plant has been doing well. I haven't had any problems with it. So I guess it's, you know, it's, it's good. So in the comment section, let me know when you are repotting like what I'm doing right now, what do you do with the soil, um, like the soil here? You can't really see it. Let me, um, let me show you. So see, this is all the soil from the, um, you know, from the plants that, um, from the, the soil that the plants came in. So what do, what do you do with that? Do you, do you throw that away or do you use it? I've heard some people say that you are not supposed to use, uh, not to use, use used soil, to always use fresh soil. And then I've heard some people say that they do reuse their soil. So in the comment section, tell me what you do with your plants and your soil. So this is about how much I put in the bottom. And I'm gonna just go ahead and 
stick that in there. You know, I'm very pleased with my um, me being able to uh, keep all of my pepperonias happy. If you watch my channel, you know that in the past I have not had uh, good luck with pepperonias. Um, and I'm a, I'm a chronic overwaterer. I found that out. And pepperonias and overwatering is not a combination um, that is going to win. It's definitely not a winning combination. And so the first uh, couple pepperonias that I had have died on me, except for one that's slowly recovering. But I purchased. Let me think. I have two in my office, and they're doing really good. I have a, is it a pepperoni or marble? I think there's a pepperoni or marble in there, and I think it's a leapfrog pepperoni, if I'm not mistaken. And then, I don't know. I don't know what type of pepperoni. I can't think of what type of pepperoni I have in my office, but I know I have a leapfrog in there, and then I have another pepperoni in there. I think it's just a regular green variety. And then I have a pepperoni, a marble that um, you can't see that's in my kitchen, on my kitchen, win in my kitchen window seal. And then this one is also a pepperoni, a marble. Um, and this one lives and hangs out in my um, living room window seal. And they have not missed a beat. They are doing so, so well. And what I have been doing is basically letting them pretty much dry out before I water them again and that has been working so there we go oops there we go all right so we have one more to go so this is the last plant that I will be repotting my syngonium now I have two syngoniums in my collection in my plant nook that's upstairs I have a really big zagonium, and then I have this one. So look at the roots. Look at that. It, it's been needing to be repotted for a while. So let's see if I can get this out without ripping the roots. Okay. Usually just squeezing the nursery pot it does the trick yes yay so this is how this one looks look yeah so i'm gonna loosen that one up as well and i tell you also um i was so excited about going on vacation but i was so nervous about leaving my plants in the care of someone else that someone else being one of my sons but he did a great job and all of my plants are well what we did was at first i t said on one of my videos that i was going to leave him I was gonna put popsicle sticks, use popsicle sticks and have a color um, situation going on where red meant don't water, um, green means please water, blue means check the soil. But what we decided to do is I FaceTimed him and we went from room to room. It was a long FaceTime, it was about 45 minutes and I walked him through watering all my plants. So um, everyone, and everyone was happy when I came home so I'm glad about that so now I am going to put some dirt in the nursery pot I was wondering if I uh, had enough soil and I'm happy to say I do I mean I have plenty of soil but I just didn't want to have to um, mix any more of this evening and um, I'm glad that I have enough so stick that in okay oh some of the roots are wanting to trying to point the roots down 
so that they grow down into the soil. Okay, and then I am. So yeah, these plants needed to be repotted, to be honest, before I left, and I just didn't have time. I didn't have I didn't have soil either. I didn't have time to go to the store. I ran out of soil. And so I was like, oh, I'll just do it when I get back. And so I just don't want them to start suffering because they don't have enough room to grow. And I've heard that you're not supposed to repot um, in the winter months, but I'm gonna tell you, I have. If a plant needs to be repotted, I repot it. Um, but I, I've been told that that's, well, I haven't been told, but I've read that that's not a good idea. What do you, in the comment section, do you repot in the winter months or the non-growing season for most plants, which is, you know, winter and fall? Or do you repot when they need it regardless of the season? But here is the syngonium. Um, I saw a syngonium online that is so beautiful. Uh, I don't know what it's called, but it was it was pink and green. If anybody knows, uh, uh, let me know in the comment section. I would love to have that. I I you know I what I learned is that there's so many, just like most plants, there's so many different. Um, varieties of syngoniums um and i would love to have a few more but yeah so that is the end of this video i will now uh go ahead and water uh give all four of these a good water watering and place them back and hopefully they will you know keep growing and thriving i hope you enjoyed this video um if you did please subscribe to my channel and please comment in the comment section i love talking with you guys um where are you from um and just any tips and tricks that you have uh for me i would welcome them um and i will see you the next time oh and like i always say be blessed